Welcome to Dr. Voip Training. This brief training segment is from the Dr. Voip Shortel 8 Administration video series. The complete 15 hours of training is available online or on DVD at drvoip.com. Let's meet our coach, Peter Buswell. Known throughout the telecom industry as Dr. Voip, Peter brings a wealth of experience to his training sessions. He has worked in telecom since 1970. He's worked exclusively in VoIP since 1998. He's a VoIP entrepreneur with three venture capital-backed businesses. He has a Bachelor of Science degree in Information Technology Management, plus certifications from some of America's leading communications companies. Let's join one of Peter's training sessions now in progress. The next section here, bandwidth control. Some of this is new in terms of um, previous versions of Shortel. But the one that we want to focus on is the concept of admission control bandwidth. And basically what we've done here is to say that uh, 1024 kilobits is the maximum bandwidth that we will allow a call to be established between sites. If the system detects, and um, I was very interested in how this happens, um, but basically TMS is communicating uh, between the switches and so in this example we we have users at two sites so going back to sites here um, if someone in the Oceanside site calls someone in the headquarters site we will allow that call to be set up um, as long as it would not exceed 1024 kilobits now that's going to depend on which uh, codec we're using and uh, you are allowed to set the intrasite uh, and intersite codecs. So the one thing we need to be aware of here is though the Shortel system will be aware of phone calls between the two sites, it really has no knowledge of the total bandwidth that is being used by other applications between sites. So, so be careful when you set this up. If I have a one megabit uh, pipe between two sites, and here I say 1024, um, I have no way of knowing, uh, Shortel has no way of knowing if perhaps the bandwidth is being used by someone moving a uh, a large video file across those sites. So we can determine how much bandwidth we're prepared to allocate for a voice call between two sites, but we have no real knowledge about the actual bandwidth being used between the two sites. So keep in mind um, a good rule of thumb would be to uh, allow no more than 75% uh, of the available bandwidth uh, to be set aside. Uh, for voice. Again, it's going to depend on whether you, which, which bandwidth, uh, which vocoder you're using. And new in Shortel 8 is the fact that we can, in fact, um, establish high, medium, low vocoders. And we will get to the definition of those elsewhere in our video presentation. But typically, you're going to select something like a 729 vocoder uh, for my, um, excuse me, for my intrasite calls. And I take that back for my intersite calls. The way to remember this is you can't have intracourse, right? Okay, so intersite calls are going to use, let's say, a 729A vocoder. And when I'm making calls within the site here, we might use a G711. So um, these vocoders, in fact, determine uh, the count against the admission control bandwidth. <laughs> 